What's going on, everybody? So I got a question or at least saw a post in one of the groups that I manage talking about wanting to create a we'll call it a puzzled or even a cutout name sign. Uh, you know, those that has something in the background and something cut through it with like another name. So let's do it. All right, so I've opened up the file that I was sent over, and right now this is what we're looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll start picking apart the different things that I'm seeing and just showing you how I would go about doing this exact thing. So ultimately what they want is they want anything where it's crossing this maverick that it's going to be cut out. So that way they can basically have two pieces. So one is this big back section that is going to be standalone and then be able to puzzle in Maverick across the middle of this. So first thing that I'm gonna do is I, you know, I'm just gonna click around and see, okay, how is everything grouped? So these all right here are individual pieces. So because I know that I'm gonna cut out of that, I'm actually gonna group these. Because using your Boolean operators, it really is gonna matter how things are grouped or not grouped. Um, so we got all these pieces and we made sure to grab this piece of the R that's right there. Because if I ungroup it, you can see that like this piece right here, it's separate. So got to make sure we grab that, group that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. And it looks like this is a font. Maybe. I can't tell because it, it automatically opened up my my cursor like it wanted to edit it. So what we're going to do on this one is we're actually going to go back to our selection tool. I'm going to right click and then just convert this to path and then hit control G and group it. So you can see how the, the dotted lines have changed. So now that we've got these two things grouped, we should be able to subtract from the back. Um, and so it matters which order you select things in so that way you can subtract. So usually you select the first, so you're going to subtract subtract a and b and then you can hit this subtract button right here and you'll see that's what we're left with is this piece right here so the part that we're missing is the other part so we want that name to stay there so you'll see that this uses we'll call it the cutting object and it makes it disappear so what we're going to do is we're going to go backwards now we're just going to grab this and we're going to do Control d for duplicate so now you can see like that line got thicker. There's two of these sitting on top of each other. So we're going to select the back piece and then hold control and then select one of the top pieces because we can only see that one is done and we're going to do this again. So subtract and there you go. That is your puzzle piece now put together. So if I grab this Maverick and we go and just pull like this, you can see Maverick is whole but now you've got all of the cutout pieces that you needed for the back. So that way you can go ahead and puzzle this back together, do your painting, whatever you need to. So I hope that was helpful and gave you the, the tips and tricks that you need to, so that way you can create something like this and get it ready for the laser. This all can be done right here in Lightburn. It's just learning how to use your different Boolean operators. If you want to see or learn more stuff like this, check out my Lightburn course. You can find that here and go check it out. See what's in the course. There's a couple of videos that I have right there on the landing page. So that way you get an idea of what it is that you're going to be looking at. But what I just showed you in this video is similar things that you're going to be able to learn in the course and really master Lightburn so that way you can use it most efficiently. So please like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.